Okay, so what we've got here is one of my keeper's guides, a state rifle basically. Um, it's a rifle that's used for clients, vermin control, and obviously it's stalking and lamping at night. And the rifle and the scope gets a lot of abuse and basically used to its full potential. It's not just day-to-day -day dirt, this is ground in dirt, obviously a few scratches here and there, the uh, soft rubber um, eye pieces off the back, a few scratches on it, wear and tear where it's been on the bike, rattling around, a um, few impacts, bits and pieces. So yeah, so basically what we're going to do is a quick, a quick uh, clean, you know, the, the blurry tool is it's not really going to work. So you, get, you know, you've got all these kit, bits of kit you can use, again, this is a screen cleaner. If I started rubbing around all that built up dust that's on there, you can see that built up dust on there, that's gonna, you know, going to uh, scratch, scratch the lens. Same with, you know, if you squirt that straight on it, it's gonna, you know, we will come to that in a minute, <clears throat> but first things first, we basically need to give it a bath. I suggest the silencer gets taken off every time it goes in the gun cabinet. A little bit of suds. And again, people are a little, sometimes a little bit too precious. Remember, it is, it is a bit of kit. It is waterproof. Um, <laughs> and you get a find as well, a lot of this stuff, it's ground in dirt. So it's not just like, you know, surface dirt. When you get blurred dirt, oil, all mixed on the scope, on the surface of the scope, it becomes like a film. And unfortunately, you have to actually be a little bit brutal and use a soft scourer just to actually take the, 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 the grey brown film off, otherwise you will never get it off. It normally gets in the logo quite a lot, and then uh, sponge it on, take off the worst of it, do the edge. How often do you do this? Um, well, personally I do it once a year. I'm not quite as brutal as these guys, but I'm not on a quad bike as much as these guys. I do mine every year, they do theirs probably once they can't see out of it. <laughs> <laughs> when it no longer works, they actually do something, to be fair. Um, yeah, good thing is about extend the, the um, eyepiece right back and you'll get all that dust and grime at the end of the, and that'll make it run a lot smoother. Now this scope here is about nine, ten months old. It's a V4. 3 by 12 by 56, um, good light gathering, good work tool, um, illuminated reticle, which needs a new battery. <laughs> 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 so I do now is just basically clean the excess water off. It's already dry, basically, because I did it in lukewarm water. Um, back's dry. Um, but then you can just basically go to your your uh, windoline, as such. Give it a windoline. Lens cloth. Again, what I tend to do is, rather than just polish it all over, I tend to put it right down into the, the grooves on the edge of the, where, the, where the glass meets the metal work, and then do a full lap, and then you can see there, look, it takes off that grime and, and grit that's right in the corner. Whereas if you polish that all over like so, you'll pull that across the lens. So, fold it again, push it right down into the edge, spin it all the way around the edge, again. See so again, look, so you get the grime, and uh, which, you know, you don't really want to smear that back across the lens. Um, <coughs> do the same on the back, same again, push it in tight, spin it around, take all the excess off of it. And then the same sort of stuff really, just lens cleaner. But this, is a, this is the alcohol one, which is really good. And just give it a quick clean over. Voila, one clean scope. <laughs>